In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate a weighted average in Microsoft Excel. As always, I'd really appreciate it if you please do drop a like on this video if you find the content useful. And without further ado, let's jump into Excel and get started. For this example, let's say I'm a teacher at a school. For my class, each student is given marks out of 100 for five different tests. Two coursework assignments, a group presentation, a formal exam and a laboratory practical. These scores here are just for one student. So this particular student scored 76 out of 100 or 76% on the exam, for example. Now for this course, each test is given a different weight. Each coursework assignment are given weights of 15%, the group presentation 10%, the exam 40% and the laboratory practical 20%. Before calculating the weighted average, let me calculate the standard average without taking into account the weights. To do this in a new cell, I will enter equals average open bracket. Then I will highlight the scores. Then I'll close the bracket and then press the enter key. So the average score this student had was 66 or 66%. Now this average does not take into account the different weights given by the different tests. I'll now show you two methods on how you can calculate the weighted average in Excel. The first method is slightly long, but I'll show you as it helps to understand the formulas involved. Stick around till later on in this tutorial where I'll show you a shortcut on calculating the weighted average. To calculate the weighted average, you firstly have to multiply each score by its weight. Let me do this for the first test in my example. In a new cell, I will enter equals, then I'll select the score for the first coursework assignment, then I'll multiply by the cell containing the weight for that test. Then I'll press the enter key. Now I need to repeat this process for all the tests. To repeat the process, I can simply click on the cell I just populated and then drag the little green square in the corner of the cell down. Next, I need to add up all of the values I've just calculated. I can easily do this by using the sum function. So in a new cell, I will enter equals sum open bracket then I'll highlight the cells I'm interested in, close the bracket, and then press the Enter key. The final thing we have to do to calculate the weighted average is to divide this answer by the total number of the weights. In this example, the total number of weights is 100. And I can also use the sum function to confirm this. So to calculate the weighted average in a new cell, I will enter equals. I will select the cell containing the sum of all the scores multiplied by their weights, which is this cell here. Then I'll divide by the cell containing the sum of the weights. And then I'll press the enter key. So this student had a weighted average score of 68 or 68%. And note this is slightly different to the standard average score of 66%. And this is because we have accounted for the different weights given for each test. This method I've just demonstrated is a slightly long winded approach. And I purposely did this to demonstrate how to calculate the weighted average manually. I'll now show you how you can do this quickly by taking advantage of Excel's sum product and sum functions. In a new cell, I'll enter equals sum product open bracket. Then I'll highlight all of the cells containing the scores. I'll then add a comma and then I'll highlight all of the cells containing the weights. Then I'll close the bracket. So let me just pause here for a second to explain what's happening. Basically, the sum product function is taking a score and multiplying it by the weight. It then repeats this for the other rows. And then at the end, it then adds up all of the values. So back now to our formula. We now have to divide this by the sum of the weights. So I'll enter divide sum open bracket. Then I will highlight the cells containing the weights, close the bracket and then press the enter key. And as you can see, we get a weighted average of 68 or 68% as we did previously. And there you have it. You now know how to calculate the weighted average by using Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.